of the storyline surrounding the New England Patriots this offseason is replacing the legendary offensive line coach Dante Scarnecchia. I'm Sierra Goodwill here with Evan Lazar. We got a little hint as to who will be taking those reins as leading the offensive line group. Do you want to just explain who they are and how you think they'll be able to take over such big shoes? Yeah, you know, Dante Scarnecchia, there's so many different things that he had his fingerprints on for this Patriots team offensively. We're not just talking about coaching up the offensive line and player development, that kind of stuff. We're also talking about game planning, in-game adjustments, you know, kind of looking ahead to the long-term scouting, if you will, and kind of adjusting things that way to designing the running game game and really having a say in what type of running plays they're exactly calling on game day. So Skarnecki had, had a lot of different roles other than just being in there, t- you know, teaching technique and coaching up guys and things like that. But they do have two guys in place right now that are going to split duties between Cole Popovich and Carmen Brasillo. Now Popovich has been with the team for about five years now. He has been responsible for various different things, but one of the things that he was responsible for under Skarnecki was getting new players and rookies incremented into their basic principles. So he was what they were doing. He would sit down with these guys and install the basic fundamentals of their system with the new guys, trade acquisitions, free agent signings, draft picks, things like that. So Popovich does have experience within the terminology and within the offensive line room to get those things going. Brasillo was the, started last year with the Patriots while Popovich moved over to running backs. And one of the things the Patriots really do like to do is cross train their coaches so they get Popovich to see the running game from both the running backs perspective and the offensive lineman's perspective so that he can have a better understanding of how the whole puzzle fits together and uh, Brasillo really took on more of the responsibilities of the assistant offensive line coaches Skarnecchia last year so two guys that have experience that have worked under Skarnecchia that have learned under Skarnecchia and have good NFL experience in multiple roles with the Patriots. And we pointed out two different guys in a previous video we did about the offensive line having the most to prove in a potential X factor. You can check that out on our website at clnsmedia.com. But Evan, you've said multiple times that this this offensive line is sneaky deep. What's your take on this group as a whole and what you expect for them in the 2020 season? Well, I think that they really have one of the better offensive line situations in the entire league because when you really look across the league, I think Patriots fans looked at last year's performance by the offensive line and took them and said that was a horrible year for them. But really, when you look across the league, offensive line play is scarce to begin with, and there's not a ton of teams that have great offensive line play. So even above average line play like the Patriots had last year at times is really good in today's NFL. So the Pats have five starters returning starters that I would say are average to great to elite players, you know, from Marcus Cannon being more on the average side of things and then Joe Tooney being more towards the elite side of things. They are all set at all five spots when it comes to their starting five. And then you look behind that and maybe they don't have the veteran depth that some people would like. They don't have that trusty backup like a Ted Karras uh, in the interior and they don't have a guy at the third tackle that has NFL experience, but they have a ton of youthful depth with five draft picks in the last two drafts that can develop behind those starting five to really get into more of a future starter type conversation with some of these guys like a Yale DeFrohold, like a Yadni Kajust, like Michael Unwenu from this year's draft. So they have a lot of youthful depth guys that are developing behind their starting five. And I think that they have some really good high upside players out of that group. Well, for all the rest of our Patriots coverage, you can find it on our website at clnsmedia.com. And this edition of Patriots Press Pass has been brought to you by Awaken 180. Get simple and sustainable weight loss at awaken180weightloss.com. And be sure to subscribe to our brand new YouTube channel at Patriots Press Pass.